السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو یو ایس ایف پی شارٹ ویڈیو کورس پارٹ آف دا فری جی آر ای کورس دیز ویڈیوز ول ہیلپ یو پریپیئر فار دا جی آر ای ایگزام وچ از ایسینشیل ٹو گریجویٹ لیول ایڈمیشن ان موسٹ یونیورسٹیز ان یو ایس اینڈ فار دا فل برائٹ اسکالرشپ پروگرام دس سیشن از فار کوانٹیٹیو سیکشن and it is video number 11 for numeric entry my name is dr ali sen kazim i am an assistant professor at uet lahore so first question for numeric entry so numeric entry you have it's a conventional question in which you have to find the right answer if you don't type in the right answer you won't get credit so make sure that you follow instructions so some instruction would say give the answer to the to the one decimal place so make sure that you answer the question to that one decimal place so each month ronaldo earns a commission of 10.5% for his sales for the month plus a salary of 2500 so if ronaldo earns 3025 in a certain month what were his total sales so ronaldo earns his salary plus a portion of the sales let's say the portion the and let's say he the total sales that he makes is r the so 10.5 percent of this amount is equals so the total earning he has is 3025 so if we simplify this thing this comes out to be $5000 so we type here here 5000 So next question. So is a data analysis question having numeric entry. So sales and earnings always read this thing first the legend. Sales and earning of XYZ corporation from 1991 to 1998. The second thing you read is the axis x axis. So it says 1991 to 1998. Both same. Then you y axis So it says sales on one and earnings on the other. Then you read the other. The first thing, it says 1990 sales of XYZ Corporation. So it's only sales. So 25% was computer, 40% was major appliances, and so on. The first part, what is the ratio of earnings to sales in 1990? Three, earnings to sales. so ratio of earnings to sales if uh, so we need to write earnings first so the earnings if we approximate to what 1993 these earnings here are slightly lesser than 200 so here it's difficult to approximate but in exam it would be easier to approximate so earnings are 190 million and sales in 1993 are 8 million so 190 divided by 8 to simplify this as much as possible and once you have simplified write the answers in the box next question a company paid 500000 dollars in merit raises to employees whose performance were a b or c each employee rated a received twice the amount of the raise that was paid to each employee rated c and each employee rated b received one and a half times of the raise that was paid to each 
employee rated C. If 50 workers were rated A, 100 were B, and 150 were C, how much was the raise pays to each employee rated A? So the company paid $500,000. That was the total uh, bonuses that were given to employee A, B, or C. So A received twice of C. So if we convert this in an equation, A received twice the amount of C. So if we have to write an equation, it would be A equals 2C. And B received half, one and a half times more. So 1.5 C. So 50 workers were rated A. So 50 times A is what? total A workers got, then 100 B plus 150 C equals the total amount of money that was given out, 500,000. And we have to find how much did A rated employees got. So A equals 2 C, if we substitute this here, it comes out to be 100C. If we distribute value of B over here, it would be 150C plus 150C equals 500,000. So this is 400,000. So the C employees got. 125 $1,250. So A rated employees got A rated employees got two times C. So they got twenty five hundred dollars. So in this question we developed a series of equations. So the amount of equations we made we need to solve a question is equal to amount of variables so we had three variables in this a b and c so we needed three equation to solve it next question the number of passengers on nine airline flights were this the standard deviation of nine numbers equals 10.22 one information, you would never be asked to calculate standard deviation. Though the method, you should know how to, like, what, how do we get standard deviation, but you will not be asked to calculate standard deviation. So if each flight had two fewer passengers, what would have been the interquartile range and standard deviation of nine numbers? So now, so they, they gave, gave us, the number of passengers in nine flights now suddenly two each flight has two less passengers so what is the new interquartile range and the standard deviation the standard deviation they have given us before but they haven't given us the interquartile range so if we arrange all the flight numbers in an order so the least is 19 then 21, 22, there are two flights having 22, 28, 31, 33, 44, and 50. So we have to find the interquartile range. So total number of flights is 9. So we find interquartile range. Interquartile range is basically the difference between the um, the Q3 quartile and Q1 quartile. So to find the Q1 quartile, it is which term? It is the term which is, so we add the total not nine terms, we add one to it and divide it by four. So it comes out to be two point Mm, 2.5 so it is the 
the term between two and two and the third term, which is the Q1. So Q1 equals the average of 21 and 22. That comes out to be 21.5. Q3 quartile is we add again 1 to the total number of terms and then we multiply by 304. For the first quartile, we multiplied it, it with 1 over 4. For the third quartile, we would multiply it by 304. So 10 into 304 comes out to be 7.5. So it is the term between the 7th and the 8th. So the 7th and the 8th term is, 7th term is 33. And so 33 and 44. So if we take the average of 33 plus uh, 33 and 44, it comes out to be 38.5. Now, so finally we have the interquartile. So interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So 38.5 minus 21.5. That comes out to be 70. So what do we have to find? We have to find the new interquartile range. So what if everything decreases by minus 2? All these terms that we have written in the first row, all of them decrease by 2. So the interquartile range would remain the same. Why? Because the difference would remain the same. Next, the standard deviation. How would the standard deviation change if everything decreases by 2? If we draw a distribution of what we have seen, this is a normal distribution having a mean this. So if everything decreases by 2, um, everything decreases by 2, this curve only shifts two places back. The shape of it remains the same. So the standard deviation 10.22 remains the same. So I hope you've discovered few varieties of questions that they are there in the, date, in the GRE and I hope you found this to be useful. Please remember to check out other videos in the series. Take care. Thank you all.